right. What a way to end Yusufo finals. Gathered in the same room we were on the first full day of camp, filled with nervous anticipation for what was to come. Now we face one another with familiarity and a new camaraderie fostered by shared transformative experiences. But these two past weeks could not have been possible without the help of so many people and organizations. I want to say a huge thank you to President De Janeiro and the CEE for providing the use of a program to us and the continued endless support as alumni. Thank you to Ms. Frame and her tireless work in making every corner of USIBO possible from opens to finals. Hearing Ms. Frame talk about the challenges and joys in running USIBO over a barbecue dinner reminded me of the passion and valuable time that she has poured into this program over so many years. I would also like to thank Marymount University for hosting us. I'm glad that they provided a working PCR machine, contrary to what Grayson let us know, and always keeping the ice cream freezer full in Girard and having kind staff to keep us full, safe, and rested. Thank you to the TAs and instructors for teaching us new content during nightly lectures, losing countless hours of sleep to prepare labs and exams for us, and being sources of inspiration for what we can do with USABO after high school. And thank you most of all to my fellow finalists for making the past two weeks a truly unforgettable experience. I'm honored to speak on behalf of all of us here today. Uh, when I first embarked on my USABO journey three years ago, I would have never imagined standing where I am now. I still recall the first time I read Campbell's biology, curious to see what every page held. As time went on, however, it became clear that USABO is far more than just a series of exams. It's a vibrant and supportive community. And this couldn't be more true at camp here today. I saw the raw passion for biology among everyone here firsthand, whether it was analyzing convoluted Western blots late into the night, or having an animated discussion over whether a payoff matrix had an evolutionary stable strategy. With camp fully in person for the first time in four years, we had the grand opportunity of experiencing hands-on labs and the bubbly passion lecturers have of their studies. We learned about the nuances of turtle behavior and met Big Mama and her fellow turtles with Todd Rimkus. We carefully sketched and identified plants on iNaturalist with Dr. Harris. We enjoyed listening to entomologist Andy Lima rap about Zika prevention, and notably followed by an impromptu freestyle battle where we heard Vishal spit out some fire bars. Although I'm not sure how much of a battle it really was. <laughs> Being fully in person brings us more than just the hands-on labs or academic experiences. It fosters a closer relationship between all of us and creates the strong useful community that I have always loved being a part of. From sunrise to sunset, much past sunset for some of us, we were able to form new memories and spend much time with each other. To start, the time between lectures was filled with piggyback rides, sleeping, and outdoor fun, where I learned that being on Grayson's team for Ultimate Frisbee is a dominant strategy. <laughs> I watched Daniel playing Brawl Stars, and Sophia and I introduced our stuffed animals with each other. While we learned enough biology to feed a man for a lifetime, we also gained new insight and inspiration into life itself. I remember paging through Dr. Harris's Nature Journals of Carolina, blown away by the way that she drew organisms so simple yet so illustrative. The curious questions about animal behaviors we take for granted scribbled into the margins of her journal was truly inspiring. And how could we ever forget the heartfelt and insightful conversation we had with Kevin on finding happiness and purpose in life during an intermission after a population genetics lecture? Moreover, meals became a special time to sit down and interact with fellow finalists and have engaging discussions over an abundance of topics. Some were about food itself, talking about our liking or dislike of century old eggs, Fiona's food blog, and commenting on Vishal's daily high sea fix. Whatever the topic at hand, we could all enjoy meals in each other's company, a welcome change from eating a mountain of only food in COVID isolation at camp last year. And as every day ultimately came to an end, the evenings were our own time. Although it was the time to recoup our brain folds from being packed with biology all day, it was commonplace for biology to follow us even after the day was over. We taught each other sequence alignment and relearned 
the nuances of identifying plant families. I remember group solving tough problems in an empty dorm room, watching dissection videos with Caden and Sophie, and learning about optimal foraging with Richard late at night. Alas, these sessions of biology eventually gave way to antics and much fun. I will never forget playing Bang for the first time with the TAs, having hilariously questionable conversations at midnight, or talking about life after high school with Aditya. Sometimes I could even hear sounds of Genshin Impact or Among Us coming from the war room. With all of these experiences packed into just 12 days, it feels like we have been here for an eternity. With the long walk to Carruthers, the smell of formaldehyde in the dissection room, and our own dorm rooms becoming a home away from home. As finals inevitably comes to an end, I can't help but reflect on what Yusubo has provided all of us. When I came to finals last year, I expected a tough time trying to study the entirety of biology in just 12 days. Despite this impression, the strong community, friends, and kindness from all showed me otherwise. Nothing at this year's final could have reinforced this more. Looking into the future, I'm ecstatic to join Yusubo's ever-growing alumni network, which I know will continue to give back to this program for many years to come. Some of us will go on to undergrad next year, where I'm sure many of the skills we've learned through Yusubo will aid us, whether it's running a gel or simply talking to new people. And for those who will continue high school, I hope that Yusubo stays as a part of your high school experience, just as it has with mine. I sincerely hope that many of our paths will continue to cross in the coming years, and that the friendships learned form now will be retained for years to come. To close, I would like to extend a huge congratulation to all of the medalists, and I wish Team USA best of luck at the IBO. But I hope that we all take away more from this experience than just the final results, because whether it feels like we've only been here for a few days or many, many weeks, we all walk away from finals with lifetime friends and valuable skills for areas in and outside of biology, and of course, knowing that sharps do not belong in the trash can. <laughs> thank you all again for an amazing finals experience, and thank you for listening. Have a good night.